All right, so check this out. This is pretty nuts. So uh, I've had this Super B here that I just soldered. And uh, yeah, you can check the soldering. There you go, fractal quality, all nice little shiny balls. I've started also uh, soldering um, in diagonal. So I soldered this one, then this one, then back to this side and, and this side just to give it some time to cool uh, in, between, uh, in between motors. And of course, uh, the moment I plug it in, so here in this, uh, this is my uh, current limiting power supply. When it trips, it trips, and so this is when I, I put out the thermal camera and I found that one of the FETs is uh, getting hot. And uh, just the one before, I've had a messy, like a busted FET getting hot under the current limiting uh, load or uh, source and uh, for some reason after staying on power for a little while letting it cool it will freaking work again so uh, I thought I'll do the same I'll just uh, because the, the, this power supply when it detects a, shor a short it will just go from uh, um, voltage limit to current limit so uh, it will stay right now i have it set on 3 amps so it will just uh, send 3 amps but lower the voltage to uh, like 2.3 something like that uh, not to overload the circuit and so uh, yeah so i let it cool start it up again and what do you know motor starts freaking spinning uh, I'm pretty sure that if you had plugged a LiPo directly in it, you would have just blown because this is what it's been doing before. I, I, I got this, uh, this power supply. So uh, I figured, well, it is fucking weird again. Let's uh, check it out under the thermal cam. And that's what we are going to do now. So I have uh, ESC configurator right there and we're going to check it out so i'm gonna turn on power to the es uh, yeah to the to the board all right so it uh, globally heats up like what you see heating up first right here it's the mcus but most importantly ah uh, yeah what is this that must be the that must be the dc to dc 5 volt power supply see the heat uh, slowly creeping up uh, through the board so of course that's absolutely normal but now what we're gonna do is start spinning up these motors uh, yeah plug it in so Let's start by spinning all motors at once. So you can see the ESCs, the FETs, heating up first. They're all spinning. Now let's go over all of them one by one. So this is motor one. You can see all three FETs heat up equally. Motor two. All three FETs heat up equally. Motor 3. Huh. Interesting. So we have two FETs heating up. And then we have this resistor right here. Is it a resistor? Oh, it's not. Oh, that's a gate FET. <laughs> that's a high gate FET. But uh, uh, interesting. So, but uh, this FET here stays clean. So it has a bit of trouble to start. Actually, not even. It looks like now that it's warm, 
it starts without trouble. But yeah, uh, main thing is for some reason, this FET stays cool. While the other one seems to be working harder and this one doesn't. So that's pretty weird. So this is when I put out my little um, yeah LCR meter. I like to I like to use the ah the ohm meter the resistance meter uh, for SMT component because I can just uh, clamp it. So uh, let's go over the little resistances around this motor. Huh. Yeah, I can't uh, see it, so I can actually I can see the reading. All right, so let's start by the third FET, 97 ohm, um, resistance, sorry. Second one, 98 ohm, and the last one, zero ohm. Check on another, on another motor. Yeah, the, again, 98. 100 97 So check this out So we have a busted resistance The FET is probably good But the resistance is busted And this could mean Why this uh, a gate fed now this is the guy that was heating up was working uh, we're basically compensating for the low resistance here so i have to check i don't know which uh, resistors these are for if they are the emf reading uh, resistance or something else but yeah basically I'll just uh, try replacing it and see if that puts us in a better way but basically yeah the, the whole point of that is that yeah for some reason it's working now but I'm not sure this is good for the long term so I'm glad that I uh, picked this up with the thermal cam because then I can uh, just fix it and make sure that uh, yeah, this would be a reliable board for the time being when it shows up at the BNF customer. So let's see how it goes. Thanks for watching.